What was the biggest risk you took this past year? Think about that. What was the biggest, single most largest risk that you took in the past year? For me, it was probably two things. One was personal, one was professional. Personally, I decided to push myself because I had started to feel like I wasn't growing and challenging myself enough. So I needed to change my environment, change the people I was around, the opportunities, the ambition, the access to higher opportunities and experiences in life, both personally and professionally. And to do that, I know I needed to get to a bigger city, a bigger playing field. So I moved last fall to Manhattan and New York City, the epicenter, in my opinion, of culture, business, finance, the arts, cuisine, you name it. And then a few months later, the pandemic hit and it changed everything like it did for most everyone in the world. But it pushed me out of my comfort zone. It caused me to have to do things differently. It was a risk, but boy, despite everything that's happened in the last seven or eight months since I did it, I wouldn't change it for the world because it's opened up my thinking, my horizons, my access to different professional opportunities. And I've met some amazing people that have enriched my life and my personal experience here. And I'm grateful for it in many ways. The second way I pushed myself by taking a really big risk last year was that I started to pivot one of my businesses. And I started to leave one business that I had been in traditionally for the past six years and enter a new business. A new business that is more of an online based business in multimedia, coaching, digital products, speaking, writing. And for me, that was also a risk because it was leaving the unknown a reliable business reputation and income stream for some of the unknown, where I had to kind of start over in a way. Not maybe start over, but build on what I had created here in this traditional business. But nonetheless, it was a risk and it was challenging and tough and not without challenges still. However, I'm grateful I made it for a few different reasons. Because by doing that, I was able to better position myself and adapt to a changing world. I was able to get in front of the trends in my industry, in digital distance learning, in personal development and coaching, in doing things virtually, especially with the pandemic here. And also I was able to get out of something that I didn't have quite as much passion for anymore, that I wasn't really as interested in, that I wasn't as excited about originally as I was prior when I started my career in that business. Not to say I don't still enjoy it, I don't still serve clients, and I don't still uh, get a lot out of it, but it's different now. And for me, it's allowed me to, again, move into an area of more passion, impact, and really that's in alignment with my values and my goals here for the next year and decade. And I'm able to have a bigger impact and influence more people by doing that and not be stuck or feel like I'm stuck or fixed to one area and to one business. So both of those things were two big risks I took in my personal life and my professional life. Moving to New York City, and leaving a traditional business that I was in and starting a brand new business in a digital space. But a few great benefits I achieved by doing that. One is I pushed myself to grow and learn and expand, right? I enhanced my network professionally and personally. I've met some amazing people that enrich my life. And I'm now in a better business position, making more money and a better impact with my clients than I ever was before. So sometimes we do need to take a risk, a calculated one. We need to step into the unknown, right? Lean into it, move forward, and have faith and trust that things will work out. And trust me when I tell you that they usually do. Not always, but they do, oftentimes. So hopefully this was helpful. I'd like to know what is the biggest risk that you took in this past year. Please share below in the comments. If you're somebody who likes to share things of value, share this blog post and article as well with somebody that you think can benefit from it. Again, Thank you as always for being with me. Hopefully you got something out of this and some value to your success and happiness. We'll talk to you next time.